Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do your nightly reading my darlings. Yay! This reading is for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Just take what does resonate Cancer, leave the rest, don't try to force it. And thank you so much everybody for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. The nicknames... Guys, I love the nicknames, um, the smiley face emojis, all the daily encouragement. I love you guys. All right, so, you know, I'm kind of wanting to look into the weekend energy, but I'm get I started getting this song for you, Cancer, and it's kind of like haunting, okay? Um, it's Patsy Klein. I fall to pieces, right? I fall to pieces, right? Um, number one, I feel like uh, somebody knows that you're getting someone new, okay? Um, yeah, yep, yeah, they're falling to pieces, okay? And they're falling to pieces. Someone new is coming in, Cancer, okay? Some of you have just met somebody new, actually, and they could have found out about it. Um, I feel like in the, I don't know all the words to the song, guys, but I feel like this person's finding out through the community or something. They could even be watching you online. Maybe you've posted some pictures or something. Um, doesn't it say something about um, finding somebody new, right, in the song? I don't know all the words. I do know it's Patsy Cline, though. I should know this song, but I don't. So, um... Yeah, um, I fall to pieces. That's what this person is doing. You walk by and I fall to pieces, right? Yeah, I feel like you've got a new, uh, yep, and what did I say? You've got a new emperor here, or you're about to have somebody new. And, I, you know, honestly, I don't know why I said it in the central focus, but that's what this person is focusing on. Um they're falling apart, man. Yeah, I feel like this person, they wanted to get you to calmer waters, but they waited it out for too long. And honestly, I'm feeling there's a part in the song where it says something like, um, oh, time only adds to the flame, or time only adds to, the, yeah, time, isn't that what she says? Time only adds to the flame, or you know, the fire, whatever it is. I feel like this person, um, they've been wanting to, I feel like they've been wanting to come forward, but they haven't because they haven't been wanting to face all the things that they've done in the past. Okay. Um, yeah, they've been wanting to get you to calmer waters without them talking about, they don't want to talk about what's happened in the past. But in order to get you in this boat, I feel like they've had to talk about it. They know that. This is somebody who comes to you and says, you know what? No more talky-talky. No, we don't want to go through all of that stuff again and dig up stuff from the past. No, no, no. We don't want to talk about it. Just get in my boat, Cancer, and I'll get you to calmer waters, and I'll have control of the boat, and you can just, you know... Um, never have clarity on why I hurt you so bad in the past, right? That's, I mean, this person just doesn't want to, they don't want to confront the things that they've done to you. And I feel like um, they feel very ashamed and they know that they're just, I don't know if they, they're not strong enough. Their main focus is to get you in this boat and get things calm between you um, without talking about what they've done, okay? But meanwhile, th this really is their main focus, that they don't have the strength to, to do that. They don't know how they're going to pull that off. And I feel like in the meantime, they know time is slipping away and you're about to get new love. And it's going to be with somebody who's going to recognize your worth. You know, yeah, look, they, they know that you would make them happy. And they're also trying to figure out, see, they're feeling stuck. They're trying to figure out an idea of how they can get you in this boat without shedding the light on all that they've done to you, okay? 
in order to get things calmer between you, they know they're going to have to, yeah, you've got a new soulmate connection coming. They know they're going to have to, um, they're going to have to tell you the truth, Cancer. Yeah, I feel like you're extremely intuitive here. Um, and uh, yeah, you're not, <laughs> they can't get things calmer without explaining what they've done okay and they don't know how to do that they're it's like they're hanging there trying to get some kind of idea they know too at the same time i can see this as somebody realizing like waking up here it's a big burst it's kind of like they're waking up to all of this oh my god what have i done i fall to pieces every time i hear someone speak your name i i fall to pieces uh what does she say time only adds to the flame and you're about to get someone new she says something like that in the song too so this person yeah time only adds to the flame they they and they realize um yeah here look it's only a matter of time before like you're not speaking to this person anymore you may already uh, well, I know you haven't been in communication, but I mean, you may have already blocked them out and detached, right? Especially if you have new love that's come in already. They could already know about this. They may already know that you, you could be happy with someone else already. And how are they going to compete with an emperor? You know, an emperor, the, this person coming in for you, this is someone who's been through their own battle and they're coming out victorious, okay? Um, I mean, this could be your person's energy, but I feel like this is someone new. Uh, they could be in the public eye. They could be very well liked by the, by the uh, um, community. They, they could even be encouraged to come towards you. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's an emperor coming for you. This is new love. This is new love here. And I feel like you've now cut your person out of the, uh, your past person out of your life. You're about to get, um, blessed with an emperor here, new love, a new soulmate connection, someone who's going to know what they want, someone who's going to be able to make a decision, someone who's got the courage and the strength to come forward towards you and just want you. Okay. So I feel like that's what you're doing here. You're cutting this person out. You're blocking their energy off so that somebody new can come in who's going to love you the right way. Because you intuitively know here that you've got new love coming. Yeah, it's the end of a cycle. And I feel like your person, they're falling to pieces. They're extremely emotional over this. The Six of Cups, that's them looking back on things. That's them remembering um, something you said or the way you made this person feel. You had this innocent love about you, okay? And um, they could even be awakening to the fact that you're a past life soulmate connection. And now it's coming to an end. I feel like you've learned your lessons from this cycle and the door is shut and now you're moving forward. You're leveling up. Yeah, this person went and lost an empress. Now you're, you're an empress and you're sitting there attracting your emperor. And they're over here falling to pieces. Okay? And the longer they sit here, the worse it's going to feel for this person. The longer they sit and not want to confront all that they did, because that's really what they want. Um, they want to come and say, Cancer, get in my boat. No more talky-talky. We're not going to talk about the stuff from the past. Let's just, like, have a redo, okay? And um, it doesn't work that way with you, Cancer. Especially in the Empress Throne, you're not going to go for that. They know it. So they either confront the things that they did to you, come in quickly, and it's going to have to be fast because I'm telling you, um, your emperor is nearly here already, okay? They're coming in, and they're moving way faster than your person is, or whoever this is, your person, your past person, right? 
Yeah, if they don't, um, if they don't come in and explain all of these wands, right? Now look at this. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ten of Wands. If they don't explain all of this to you and get rid of these wands, they're going to have to pick up these wands and carry them the rest of their days. That, those are heavy burdens because they're real. They're going to be, how can you not, like, how can you ever forget the time when you lost an empress? How can you ever forget the moment that you walked away from a blessing from God? Okay, this person's never going to be able to forget this. They're never going to be able to forget you. And they're always going to know that they lost you because, of, because they couldn't get the courage up to face what they've done. Okay? They're falling to pieces right now. They know there's no more time left. They're awakened, I feel, to this connection. And, uh, and they realize that it would, they would have had a happy life with you. Um, but they're also like, um, they're trying to come up with some kind of idea, something that'll work so that they can get away with the things that they've done to you before. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to, you know, uh, they don't want to hear what you have to say. They don't want to hear what you have to say about how they hurt you, Cancer. And they're trying to come up with an idea that that's going to work. And you know what? They can sit here forever and fall to pieces. But this empress is about to get new love in the form of an emperor. So, you know, they have, they have like zero time left to figure this out, Cancer. Because I'm telling you, um, your emperor is coming in. You know? You, this has been a long wait, and I feel like you guys have put forth all the effort and the nurturing and everything into your journey and whatever you created for you. I feel like you've waited a long time for this, Cancer, and I feel like the divine, yep, it's the divine calling judgment out here. I feel like everything from the past is going to get put to rest. Yeah, I feel like this is you putting it behind you. All of the struggles, all of the worries, people who thought that uh, you'd always be in peasant clothing, anyone who tried to keep you down, all of that is in, is last cycle. It's still a last cycle, Cancer. Yeah, it's all going to be put in the last cycle. I feel like the divine is calling judgment on this. This is the hand of the divine, Okay. And this is their judgment. You're about to get new love. And it's somebody you deserve. Somebody who's going to deserve to have you too. That this is, this emperor, um, just like you're every queen in the deck, Cancer, this emperor's every king in the deck. They've, they have learned lessons too. They've had their own lessons to learn. Now it's almost like they've, they've got all, they've, they've got their shiznit together, Right. Um, and they're going to know that they want you right out the gate. Who wouldn't recognize and want an empress? I feel like um, this person over here, they misjudged you. You know? They thought that maybe you didn't have enough to bring to the table. They um, ghosted you here. They betrayed you. They backstabbed you. And I feel like now this, this person from your past wants you back, Cancer. They're falling to pieces, but you've got other ideas here. You're manifesting something new with a lot of power. And I usually don't say that about the Page of Wands. This is a whole new kind of Page of Wands to me. Um, this is a um, very lighthearted, playful energy, yes, normally, right? But if you cover up the picture, you're wielding a lot of power here with great skill. You know what you're doing when it comes to manifesting. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You, you take this new beginning here. You toss it in the air. You swirl it around a couple of times. Um, you tell the universe what you want. And here comes your emperor. I'm seeing this as you manifesting something new. 
That's what I'm feeling like here. You're manifesting something new. And I feel like your person is watching you. But like I said, they ran out of time. Look at they and they were in control of their own time. That hourglass there. Death, it's over. And it's almost like you know an emperor is coming. And um, yeah, I'm see I'm hearing you walk by and I fall to pieces. Did somebody stick their tongue out at their person? <laughs> um, because I'm yeah, I I feel like it's over. They're watching you, Cancer. This person's gonna be stalking you, watching you, but it's it's over, it's done. Um, if this person can't come to you with the truth and an explanation and treat you with, with respect and consideration, okay, they don't deserve to have you. Yeah, the divine is saying, enough is enough, we're done. Like clearly, with the Ace of Swords, judgment, this is the divine handing down judgment and meaning everything that they say. And the divine is saying, we're done here. You can sit here and you watch Cancer get a new love that there's no way you can compete with. You now get to watch this. You know, because they couldn't find the strength to take accountability uh, for all the crappy ways that they treated you, Cancer. They just couldn't find a way to do that. And I feel like that had a lot to do with their ego, you know? That's really the feeling that I'm getting. So all they can do now is watch you get this new emperor. I'm telling you, you, got, you have a new emperor coming in, and your, pers your past person is falling to pieces. All right, what else? Yeah, time only adds to the flame, I think she says in the song. And that's what's going to happen. This person's going to watch you, and through time, they're only going to keep wanting you more, right? More and more and more. All right, so what can you show me? And, uh, you know, if they do see you out in the community, because chances are they will with an emperor, okay? Um, if they do see you out in the community, Cancer, every time you walk by and I fall to pieces. Yeah, they're going to watch you walk right past them like um, something it says in the song. You want me to act like we've never kissed. You want me to forget um, like we've never met. Yeah. Yeah, and they'll try. They'll try very hard um, to keep their distance from you, Cancer, but this person's never going to get you off of their mind, ever. Ever. They're never going to forget this lesson because they're going to be forced to sit there. I feel like until it breaks their ego. Ooh, that's not what I meant to do, but... King, of, yeah, this person, they don't know if they should come forward or not. They're angry. They're going to be really, really angry when they see you with someone else. This is going to be like them walking. You walk by and I fall to pieces. Yeah, it's like they're constantly going to want to reach out to you, Cancer. They're if From this point on, they're going to constantly want to talk to you. They're going to constantly wonder if they should talk to you or not, how they should talk to you, that kind of thing. They're going to constantly kind of be angry because you're with someone new. Yep, you're getting wish fulfillment. You're getting somebody new. This is new options coming towards you, Cancer, and this person is going to be heartbroken. They know they self-sabotaged this Ten of Cups. Okay, they could have had ultimate wish fulfillment with you, Cancer, and this person messed up bad. And now they're falling to pieces. Okay, because you know, I feel like you don't trust this person. If they come towards you, you know they're only going to give you a fish in a cup. You could be dealing with the Pisces, too. Um, I've got Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius out here. Heavy on Scorpio. 
Um, I'm going to say Leo, Aries, Sagittarius because I can feel it. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like this is you, and now I'm not reading this Four of Cups the way I normally would. But what I'm seeing here is somebody's going to maybe possibly try to apologize to you. But you're not going to listen. You're wearing headphones. You're going to keep your arms crossed. You may not even want to look this person in the eye. Honestly. And I feel like you're going to be like this and say, you know, you're not going to deal with it. You don't want to talk to them. You don't even want to look at them at this point. Um, I feel like kind of like you're upset here, Cancer, okay? But um, it's because you know you can't trust whatever they say. You feel like you can't trust them, Cancer. You can't trust this apology. Maybe they've tried to apologize to you a lot of times before, right? So I feel like now, especially when they really want this, like this past person, they want this with you bad, okay? They do. But, and I feel like they want to apologize, but I feel like because of all that they've done, I don't think you want to hear it anymore. And, and that's why they know, they know that they sabotaged their own happiness here. This could have been a beautiful connection. You are their wish fulfillment, and you know it. You're still holding your ground. Yeah, and they are losing a, they're losing a chance at ultimate wish fulfillment, I'm telling you, because they don't. The, all, the main thing that's holding them back from coming towards you, Cancer, is the fact that they don't want to talk about the things that they did to you. That's what's holding this person back. This, right here. They don't want to talk about what it is that they've done. They want you to get in this boat here, face planted in all of the burdens from the past, and they just want to regain control of the boat, right? They just want to get you back. They want to get you to calmer waters, right? That They do want that. They want things calmer between you. I'm not going to lie. But, but they, this is a let's not talk about it, Cancer. Let's just get over it, Cancer. Um, you know, I don't want to talk about the things that I've done to you in the past, Cancer. That's what this is. No more talky-talky. Okay? No more talky-talky. Yeah, so that's exactly what that is, and that's the only thing that's holding this person back away from you is because they don't want to take accountability. They don't want to. Otherwise, this person is a ball of mush, right, falling to pieces. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They've got extreme anxiety. They're very sad. They're crying in their hands, Cancer, because unless they're honest with you, and take responsibility for hurting you, no, no apology they give you is really going to be good enough. They've got to take responsibility for this. Okay? They can't just come in and say, okay, look, I'm sorry, Cancer. Let's go. Let's get in my boat, right? Get in my boat, and we'll start over. Yeah, no, mm-mm, no. It's not going to work this time. So yeah, they, they basically screwed themselves out of ultimate wish fulfillment. Okay, that's pretty much what that is. Let's see what this person from your past wants to say. Okay, yeah. But you're about to get an emperor, Cancer. And this emperor, I mean, your past person is no match for this emperor. I'm telling you... I'm telling you, they, they're not going to be able to compete. You, they, they, they left you alone for too long to grow and become an empress. They didn't realize your value. They treated you like crud. They don't want to take responsibility for it. I feel like, you know, they're going to lose you to an emperor. But you're, you will be getting... Um, ultimate wish fulfillment and the kind of person who's going to love you the right way. 
I'm starting to see that I cannot live up to other people's expectations of me. I feel like this is them, like, knowing they can't compete, okay? I was ready to give us a chance for real this time, but then something happened. I've been miserable without you. The sadness I feel for you is something I've never experienced before. Yeah. They're falling to pieces. Sometimes at night I think about the times we've spent together. That's what they're losing sleep over here, Cancer. People look up to me and I don't want to let them down. So they may be in another situation somewhere else. I don't see that. I don't see any sign of that in this reading. But, um, yeah, and possibly for some of you they are. So many times I had the phone in my hand ready to reach out to you. The truth is, and there it is, the truth is I'm scared to tell you the truth. Okay? Boom. This is what's taking your person. This is what has taken them so long to come towards you. It's this, Cancer. It's this. They don't want to talk about what they did to you before. It's that. And that's just too bad for them. I feel like, um, you know, they're going to have to take accountability and tell you the truth. Or they lose you to an emperor, okay? That's really, they don't have any other choices. Anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates, right? If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.